Hello everybody, my name is C and I am the owner of CLM Custom Designs on Etsy as well as YouTube and my channel is All Things Crafting. So if you've been here before, welcome back and if you're new, welcome, come on in and take a seat and let's get ready to learn something. I really just wanted to come on today to kind of show you what's on clearance at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Some things that I picked up and um, what I'm planning to do with them. So I'm super excited. So. Let's jump into the intro. Now, okay, um, I have to remember where I got it from. Let's start with michael's so all of michael's i guess craft express stuff is on clearance um so i bought this mug and it's a sublimation mug the white part as you can see um is where you sublimate and the rest of it is black this was on plans for three dollars um it says it was originally six dollars i don't know if that's a great deal or not but um I wanted to try it so we're going to see and i'm looking to see if it says anything about like does it make a difference if it's hot or cold but it doesn't say whether or not the picture appears hot or cold so i'm just thinking once it sublimates um you'll you'll just see it whether it's hot or cold um i've never tried their craft express brand um so that's why i when they were on clearance, I wanted to try it. I didn't try it at full price because I'm like, ah, I don't know. I haven't really heard any reviews about it. But on clearance, it was worth a try. So I just bought one of these to test it out. If I, if I really, really like them, I'll go back and get more because they had a good amount. And then I went also and got these MDF photo panels, which I thought were interesting. It's two photo panels. They were $10, so five each. Um, so I kind of open them and see what's going on, but I think they're just, um, blocks, not like you, you know, put a picture in or anything. I just think it's just a panel and it's sublimation as well. And, oh, okay. So it's just a block on the back. You have the slits for, um, so it can lean up against something either vertically or horizontally. So it was two of these for $10. So I did want to try that. I thought that was interesting and cute. For this one, it says um, $3.56 for 90 seconds. So it says do not exceed $3.65. So we will have to see because, you know, typically we think that $400 is for sublimation for 60 seconds. But... You know, each item is different. Each, you know, brand is a little bit different. So it is trial and error. So I think I'll start with what the directions say. And then we'll kind of move on from there. For the cup, it actually um, says 356 for 300 to 330 seconds. Um, if I'm using a mug press, and I guess if you're baking, then 356 for 16 to 17 minutes. But I'll be using the mug press. Yeah, those two from Hobby Lobby. Um, this wasn't on clearance. This I also got from Hobby Lobby. This was on clearance for six forty nine, um, and it is a resin set for chest. So and checker. So I've always wanted one of those. Um, so I'm gonna try my hands at it. You know, I have the ones for um, tic tac toe. So I'm gonna try this one. As I'm looking though, it looks like it might be a piece missing. Um, although it's never open, it's super weird. Um, but there's nothing here. However, it's the same horse from here, so I guess you could just make it twice. But super weird that it's not in there. Oh, maybe it was open and someone restapled it back together. So maybe that's why it was on clearance. But since it's just a horse, no big deal. I would just have to make one of these twice. But anyway, like I said, it was six forty nine, and um, yeah, check it out. Doesn't move, so I did snag that. 
and then I snagged this because I had been wanting a airbrush. It wasn't on clearance, but it was $17.99. It was the cheapest one they had. And the reason why I wanted this is because I had bought, I think I showed you, I don't know if I showed you before, but I bought the leather paint kit because when I do my um, keychains, especially the black keychains, I wanted it to pop with the color. So I had bought some of the leather keychain um, paint. And I also wanted to try it out on some leather shoes. So hence, I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. These were on clearance for $3.99 because I figured I can play around with these, um, you know, using the paint with the airbrush, creating some designs and seeing what happens. Of course, you know, I do um, the dips and so yeah, I wanted to try this. Let me see if I can find the paint that I purchased. I did find it, I did find it. So I purchased the Angelus Acrylic Leather Paint Kit. Um, and I bought this from Joanne's. I had a 50% or it was 50% off, I think, or whatever. But anyway, yep, I bought this. It has all these wonderful colors. So I can't wait to try that with my um, airbrush set. So we'll see. I mean, who knows? I've been watching a lot of videos where they are decorating these sneakers, Nikes, whatever. Um, you know, making like um, vinyl stencils and things like that. And so, yeah, I am going to try it. Um, I also bought this from Michael's Craft Express. It's a dog collar. I had a large one for bigger dogs and a small one for little dogs but it was a sublimation dog collar it was two for three dollars um so yeah i thought i would try that um not that i have a dog but <laughs> you know it was on clearance what can i say so i'll try that um this next thing i'm gonna show you i actually got from amazon but i wanted to get it because you watched my video before when i did the resin um because it's in my basement and my basement tapes because I do it in my basement and my basement tends to stay on the cooler side the um, resin doesn't always cure properly so I went on Amazon and I got this curing mat so you plug it in it stays at the right temperature and then also you have this cover so that no dust, dust or anything gets in it so basically you put the cover over the mat you leave the resin piece on there and that will help it to cure so here's to see how um that works as well so that should be interesting can't wait to do that um now we will move on to what i got from hobby lobby on clearance so um this brand is called unisub which i've never tried either but since it was on clearance i thought i'd try it this i think is a little bit pricey um i was on the fence about this um this is a sublimation door hanger plus like do you do door hangers anymore so um it could potentially end up going back but anyway you get two door hangers this was 6.99 it was originally 14 dollars, so i guess it was like 50 percent off but these are two sublimation door hangers they are 4.0 by 9.0 so 4 by 9 and um it says 385 for 60 to 70 seconds so i got that jewelry still out though that might get returned and then i got these luggage tags which I thought was super cute. You get four luggage tags and they were $6.99. And you can sublimate on both sides of these. Um, and the size is 2.75 by four. And again, this is 385 for 60 seconds. So that's pretty cute. Um, I was super excited about this. Uh, I wish they had more, but I got more. This was $6.49, but it's a dry erase message board. Um, so you could sublimate right onto the message board, which I thought was cute. Um, and then I saw another really cute idea. I do a lot of things for schools. Um, and one thing that I had seen when I was, I don't know, watching a TikTok or something, um, one of the teachers took luggage tags and made hall passes. So each one of the luggage tags 
um, look like the front of like a composition notebook, different colors. But one of them said like office, bathroom, whatever. Um, and then she put a lanyard because um, it has a sled at the top. She put it on the lanyard and then she made this board with hooks on it. And this is where she kept luggage tags, the luggage tags or the hall passes on. I'm not saying she used these exact things, but this is what it reminded me of when I seen it. And because I do a lot of things for the school, I thought, oh, that would be cute to go ahead and make and then advertise to the schools. So, and you get two boards in here. So I can't wait to get into that. And then I bought this. Um, I must have got this at Michael's too, so I'm going back to Michael's because this is a silicone wrap um, when you're putting cups inside um, the mug press. Now, the reason why I got that is because I bought some cups that are a little small to go into the Cricut mug press. And so I thought this would um, take up the extra room that was in there. Um, now I don't know because of the thickness if it will prevent it from sublimating or not, but I thought I would try it. Um, it says to be used with a mug press or a tumbler press. So hopefully it will work. You get two of these, um, they were $12. Um, and they are 9.8 by 4.7. So hopefully they will work. Now, going back to the Amazon thing, as you know, um the stanley craze is out there everybody has these stanley cups and we know with the stanley cups come the charms and all the other things um with the stanley cups so you know i have um an x tool and i was like oh maybe i can um you know cut some of the things for the top or whatever um and some of my co-workers were like yeah once you start making them let us know what have you so the first thing I had to do was buy a Stanley so that I could measure whatever I had gotten a dupe, but I didn't realize that Stanley cups screw on and the dupe you just push down, so that didn't work. So um, I got a really good deal on the Stanley, so I went on ahead and got a Stanley so that I could measure the top and all of that. But in the meantime, until I get to do it on my X tool, I ordered some tags from Amazon that were for sublimation. So that came today um sublimation tags so this is what they look like and they are supposed to fit on the stand as a matter of fact let me go grab mine and see if it fits okay here we go no i didn't find purple that would have been so sweet but i didn't but i did find um yeah pink one so that's what we went with and this came with another cup that I had, but I just thought I would try and see if it worked. She does have purple cheeks and purple ears, so it's okay. So let's open these. And this is, a, I believe, a 40 ounce um, Stanley. So these supposedly fit the 40 ounce. So we're going to see. Yep, they do. They fit pretty snug, pretty tight. Yeah, pretty snug, pretty tight. So I'm going to sublimate on them and see how it goes down. It looks like you can sublimate. Oh, I was going to say both sides, but probably not. Probably here's the white side. So that's the side, no doubt, that you sublimate on. So I am excited to see how that goes. And then I did purchase some acrylic sheets to see if I can... Go ahead and cut some out on my X tool. So I am super excited about that. Um, this is the time of year where you're gonna find a lot of clearance at Michael's and Hobby Lobbies. As a matter of fact, Michael still has their grab um, boxes, their $10 grab boxes. Um, if you're interested in that, it appears to be, I didn't get any this time because it appears to be that a lot of it is like Easter kind of stuff with the eggs and whatever else. I did see some wrapping paper or whatever, but nothing that I was really interested in. They did have also some um, porch signs that said like welcome or spring or hello or something like that. And um, I think they were just on clearance for $7 by themselves. So that may be something um, 
that you're interested in too but definitely check those clearance aisles at michael's as well as hobby lobby because there are a lot of things out there at this point in time that um you can go ahead and snag on clearance um, I'm going to show you one last thing and then I'm going to hop off of here. I have been looking um, because I don't know about you. I take my laptop with me everywhere and it just gets scratched up and whatever else. And so I wanted to get a cover for um, my laptop and I had ordered off Amazon. I ordered a cover twice actually in the wrong size. I have no idea why it wasn't the right size. I thought I kind of looked into... Um, you know the little ad icon on my app that says what size it is and all that but for whatever reason i ordered two and they both ended up being too small and i happened to be out today and i happened to see this little store that i had never seen before and i ran inside and wouldn't you know it they had um covers and it was one of those stores where all sales are final like a bargain bin kind of place um but i I spotted it just out of the blue and I was like, oh, that looks like it'll fit. Um, it was only 10 bucks, which was cheaper than the ones on Amazon. So I'm like, if it doesn't fit, I guess it's not a huge loss, but wouldn't you know it, it actually fit. So the whole entire time that I tried to measure and get it all right to order off of Amazon, didn't work. I run in the store and I see something, I'm thinking, oh, this looks like it'll fit. And it did. So here is my cover and it has my purple in it. The bottom is just clear plastic, but it also had came with the um cover keypad, which is so cute as well. Um, it came with a little mouse mouse pad, but I probably won't use that. That was green. Looks like a a tea thing for golf, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So I was super excited about that. So now my um laptop won't get scratched up i carry it in the same bag with my work laptop and they just bump up against each other and so it's not good so now it's protected it also came with um a screen protector so it actually came with more than the one um that amazon had as well as it was cheaper so i was super excited to happen up on that today so anyway guys that is all i wanted to share with you i had been swamp 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 um with making t-shirts for um this upcoming play um, my last video talked about the annie jr shirts that i was making so i'm still making annie jr shirts um for this play i'm actually also in the process of making a pillow for miss hannigan if you know anything about the story miss hannigan has um a favorite pillow that she has and one of the little girls um gets sick on the pillow right so this is Miss Hannigan's favorite pillow, and this is the little girl. This is the sickness that got on the pillow. So I actually have to, and if you see all these little white things flying around us, because it's coming off of the fabric. So I'm going to sew that up, and then I think I will be, oh, look, see? All the little furry things from the fabric are now on my shirt. But anyway, I'm going to finish that pillow for um, the play. I have to do a tablecloth for the ticket table. And then I think I am Annie Jr. out. I will be all done. I do have to, um, I will be vending at um, both evening shows next week. So I will be getting ready for that. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to vlog some of that so you guys can kind of see what's going on. But that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And until we meet again, bye-bye. Be safe.